The Battle of Zappolino was fought in November 1325 between forces representing the Italian towns of Bologna and Modena, an incident in the series of raids and reprisals between the two cities that were part of the larger conflicts of Guelphs and Ghibellines. The Modenese were victorious, though many clashes between Guelphs and Ghibellines loomed larger to contemporaries than to historians. In this unusually large encounter between 4,000 estimated cavalry and some 35,000 foot soldiers, 2,000 men lost their lives. The location of the battle, at the foot of a hill just outside the castle walls, is today a frazione of the municipality of Castello di Serraval, Emilia Romagna, setting. Though their boundaries had been set by Frederick II, Holy Roman Emperor, in person, a century before, competitive friction along their mutual marches between Ghibelline Modena, with the Emperor as patron, and Guelf Bologna, with the Pope as patron, had fled over decades. In 1296 the Bolognese successfully invaded the Modenese lands of Bazano and Savignor, with the support of Pope Boniface VIII who recognized in 1298 the Guelf possession of these border castles. Within the two cities the situation was complicated by numbers of exiles and divided loyalties. In Modena the struggle for power after the death of Abizzo II d'Est, which divided his son's friends into hostile camps, was resolved in favor of Azo VIII, who confronted Bologna in part to bolster his lukewarm reception by his own city's nobles. His elected successor, the Mantuan Passerino Bonacolsi, the agent of Louis of Bavaria, king of the Romans, pursued the embittered war politics, with Parma, Reggio and Modena also under his power. For his part John XXIII declared him a rebel against the church, granting indulgences as befit a crusader to any who could harm his person or his possessions. In the months before the battle, border clashes intensified. In July, the Bolognese entered Modenese territory and laid waste the fields in the section between the canals. By fire and sword, in August a Bolognese rabble headed by their Podesta spent two weeks ravaging the lands of Modena. In September the mansions took their turn, and at the end of that month, the strategic Bolognese rocker of Monteverlio was betrayed to Modena by malcontents, two renegade Castellans were decapitated. Battle As the Bolognese chronicler Matteo Griffini tells it, the militia and rabble of Bologna headed by their Podesta, aided by allies from Florence and Romagna, besieged the fortress of Monteverlio. Quickly an opposing force arrived, headed by Can Grande della Scala, leader of the Ghibelline faction, as owned Visconti of Milan, with many of his professional German troops, and Rinaldo, Marchese of Ferrara, leading forces of Modena, Mantua and Ferrara. Can Grande soon departed for Verona, but the Bolognese took for their captain the Condottiero Malatesta, Lord of Rimini. The battle took place 15 November 1325 towards sunset. The Bolognese had 30,000 foot soldiers, who would have been haphazardly armed, and 2,000 cavaliers, facing 2,000 cavaliers on the Modenese side, supported by 5,000 foot soldiers. The Ghibellini were arrayed on the plain where the Frazione of Zirabega stands while the Guelphs were on the slope descending from Bissaliera towards Zappolino, the Prata di Saletto surmounted by the castle. The Bolognese recalled men who had been drawn apart by a ruse, to Bazano and Pont Sant Ambrogio. The aim was to stop the advance of the Modenese towards Monteverlio. The battle was over by nightfall, within a couple of hours, with the Bolognese routed. The Modenese advanced to the very walls of Bologna, destroying the castles of Crespilano, Zola, Samoja, Anzola, Castel Franca, Piamazzo and the Chusa del Reno near Castellecchio, which diverted the river towards the city. They did not attempt a siege of the city, but scornfully organized a palio outside the very gates of the city. Ad eternum memoriam primus orum a eternum bononiensium scandalum. 
to the eternal memory of those sent out on the expedition and the eternal shame of Bologna, and then returned to Modena brandishing a bucket taken from a well outside Porta San Felice. Twenty-six captured notables of Bologna were incarcerated for the next eleven weeks in Modena. Outcome, though David Abulafia in the New Cambridge Medieval History asserts that Ghibelline influence in the region was consolidated by a victory at Zappolino. Peace agreements in the following January returned Monteverlio and the other castles to Bologna, a return locally to status quo ante that was probably paid for privately, as ransom, with coin in the hands of Passerino Bonacolsi. At Bologna, the coat of arms of Pope John XXII was displayed in conjunction with those of Robert d'Anjou. A mark that the old alliance of the Avignon Papacy and the House of Anjou was still viable in some eyes. One of the bloodiest medieval battles had virtually no outcome and is largely ignored by historians. The battle is also famous for the wooden bucket that the Modenese took as spoils from the Bolognese. Though it is not mentioned by Griffini, this unusual booty was venerated in Modena in remembrance of the victory. The history of the bucket was told in Alessandro Tassoni's satirical poem La Sectia Rapita. It was still to be seen in the basement of the Tour della Ghia Lendina in 1911. It was later replaced by a copy, while the original pale is still visible in Modena's town hall.